Well, hello, and welcome to my parents' backyard here in Ontario. So this is gonna be a bit of a different video. So far, you guys have been watching our European travels, which happened in like winter, spring. Yep. So we are fast forwarding to the present. It is summer here in Canada right now. So we thought today, why not film a fun barbecue video in the backyard? The dog's here, he's decided to join us. Hello, pup. Hello, pup. Um, so yeah, my dad loves barbecuing. He's from Argentina, so grilling meat is his thing. He's the, he's the grill master. He's <laughs> yeah. the official grill master. And we bought a lot of meat today. We so we're gonna be cooking with him. We're gonna be hanging out in the yard, playing with the dog. Should be fun. So I hope you guys enjoy a non-travel video, a more natural, low-key, yes. regular day. In At home lives. video. At home, let's do this. Okay, so before we can begin the barbecue, we must clean. Yes, before we start, we gotta clean the grill. Yeah. Okay, because from the previous barbecue, there is always leftover and grease that is caked and stuff yeah. like that. So that can give the meat a, a, a bad flavor, the fresh meat. Okay. So, spatula? Spatula, dollar store, a dollar. You don't need anything more than this. I don't suggest using those uh, uh, wire brushes because the the hair the the, the they bristles. can come off the bristles yeah. and go inside the meat and then you have a big problem in your stomach so yeah. just a spatula and it's just a matter of removing the old the old grease it off. that's caked here right uh -huh. after when we uh, heat up the uh, the grill we're gonna give it another more uh, a second cleaning yeah second cleaning this okay. is just to remove the rough stuff right? okay you use a, a regular rag okay. or you can use a piece of newspaper but people yeah. scream oh what about the ink what about the ink the ink <laughs> is not going to kill you don't, don't worry i think that's what we did last time for yeah. the other barbecue we filmed yeah, just a piece of uh, cloth <laughs> clean it up nicely any areas that you're going to be handling so you don't end up filled uh, with grease okay, okay. That's basically it Okay, lighting the fire now. Okay. We just put some charcoal in there. There it is. Just newspaper, charcoal, and a styrofoam tray where the sausages came. <laughs> just to fan a little to bit fan the, the fire and get the thing going. You hear crackling? Yeah. That means it's getting lit. Now we let it rest for a little while. And uh, because this is a charcoal uh, grill, if you don't like to get your hands dirty, please get a, a gas-fired uh, barbecue yeah. because this one is a little bit dirty in the beginning just to get uh, everything set up, but then it has a much better taste. Yes. The barbecue comes out much better. Agreed. Hey, Togi. Oh, he's catching flies. Okay, so it is time to play Togo's favorite game. Basically, he loves the water hose and we just spray water and he <laughs> leaps into the air and tries to bite it and catch it with his mouth. Exactly. So he's been waiting patiently for so long. Let's play it, Hogia, let's play. Okay, okay, sit. Okay, so now time for the next step. The next step. As you can see with the little styrofoam uh, tray, yeah. we've been fanning the, uh, the flames. It's yep. been about five minutes. Uh -huh. And you got a nice fire right there. The In charcoals the middle, are yeah. already lit. Looks what red. What I'm gonna do now is spread the lit charcoals all over. Okay. okay. What we use, tongs also, Bongs. dollar, dollar, dollar ninety-nine, store. dollar store. Apparently we like the dollar store. You know, Keeping you know, it simple. What we simple. do is we take from the center yeah. and we spread it out to the different areas okay. where you're going to have. So every grill master requires some wine. To you get cannot to barbecue if you don't have a good glass of wine next to you. So we've gotten this one from, uh, this one is from Argentina. Uh -huh. Now we're going to uh, decork it. 
Yeah. And uh, we're gonna put it to good use. Okay. okay. There you see it. There we Let go. Let me see what we got here. Pour a glass. Salud. Salud. Oh, very good. Very good. Excellent. Very soft. Excelente. Okay. So now it's time to clean the grill a second time. Yes, the grill is hot enough now so we can get rid of all that old grease that has been melting so the new uh, meat doesn't have any foul taste or anything like that. You clean like that, quick, and then on top of it you take the rag and yeah. if there is any ink or whatever that you may be afraid of, you remove it off. Yes? Wipe it off, yeah. And then regular cooking oil yeah. with a squirt and just look. It looks like the bottles the, the hairdressers have yeah. when they, they wet your hair yes, for a haircut. Is. Okay. <laughs> we put oil in there. That's it. It's ready to go. Excellent. Now we're gonna, I guess, we're gonna see what we're gonna put on. Should we yeah. show a little bit in? Yes, let's then? show the meat. So we are now inside the kitchen. We're gonna get a little tour of all the meat we're cooking today. Yeah. The meat is ready to be put on the grill. Yeah. The hands are clean, washed, don't worry. If you like to barbecue with charcoal, it washes off in no time. Uh -huh. And we're gonna start with the beef. This is a sirloin tip. Mm -hmm. This is a plantain. Yeah. You also put it on the grill and it's very nice, uh, becomes very sweet and soft. Yeah. We got uh, baby lamb uh, pork chops from, uh, this I believe are from either New Zealand or Australia. Mm -hmm. Uh, we got a, a chicken uh, chicken thighs thighs with a mix of uh, Peruvian uh, spice. It's spices. like a spicy yellow pepper and also and lemon. lemon juice. Yes, we got the uh, baby uh, ribs. This yeah. is pork ribs. Yeah, with also with the sauce. Mm -hmm. uh, we have uh, potatoes with uh, lots garlic of garlic. Yeah, and parsley. Mm -hmm. And we got a uh, hot uh, sausages, yes. Italian hot sausages. And we also have some seafood over yeah, here. Yeah, the seafood here, you got the scallops. Scallops. Yes, there you have the scallops. Also in aluminum foil, because yeah. if you put them loose, they're gonna dry up a lot. And yeah. then you lose that, uh, that juicy end. Yeah, so we you, like them you, juicy. You cook them like that, same as these. These are the, the shrimps. Yeah. If you put them alone, they become very uh, crispy and dry and like this you are able to keep the juices mm -hmm. and they come extremely, extremely soft and, and good. Okay. So basically, we're ready to go into the grill, right? Yeah, and that's all for five people and one dog. Lots what of do you food. say, Togo? Togo? Oh, we forgot. Oh, what do you think? We forgot. What do you think? The salmon. Oh, there's fish. There's fish. Oh, yeah. Okay, we also have a couple of uh, Filet of uh, salmon. Yeah, wild uh, salmon. Uh, wild salmon, yeah. yes, that we forgot about. First up on the grill, the beef, the plantain. And the baby last... Like, oh, the lamb chops. The lamb chops, and we're gonna put the sausages too. Okay. okay. So, here we go. Here we go. Okay, so, so we, we are got adding... We got the steaks, we got the uh, lamb uh, chops. Lamb chops. We got the plantain. Now we're going with the Italian sausages. Ooh. And we also have the mini potatoes already we have cooking. The mini potatoes. This is already a full grill and the seafood is going on the second level. Yes. So it's not as hot there, right? It cooks slower. It's cooking slower there. Close it up. And we wait. And we wait for a little while. Okay, so the dogs had quite a bit of water. The dogs have been cooling off. We've probably had about two or three sessions where we've been spraying the water and he's been jumping right into it. So I think it's time for him to play chase. That's his second favorite thing to do in the summer. I throw this green ball over here. Yeah. And he runs after it, watch. Oh, this is the non-squeaky one. The non-squeaky one. There's two other ones but that are squeaky ones. There's one ones. right behind you oh, over there. I'll grab it. Oh, he might beat you to it. <laughs> Interview time. Sam, would you like to tell us what is going on with your shirt right now? I got slimed by the dog. Okay, you got the slimed? Rest, the rest is wet. It's like, yeah. what, 
35 degrees or something today? Yeah, it's over 40 with humidity. Yeah, he has three green balls, Where's but there's the one? one that squeaks a particular way, and he likes that one. Whoa. Togo, Togo. But then he doesn't let go. He doesn't like to share, yeah. Come on. Come he on. wants you to throw the come ball, on. but he won't let go. Come on, let go. Okay, so the steaks are ready. Steaks are ready. We can get them out of the grill. Yeah, we They're like nice them juicy. juicy. They're ready to be consumed. Okay? All right. So that's the first thing that comes out. Okay. Oof. A lot of smoke in this grill. Now we're gonna remove the sausages. They're done. Okay. Ooh, looks good. Those there you have them. Italian sausages. And also the, those look uh, amazing. Yeah, these are the uh, the what? lamb. Let me see. Now we're gonna check the shrimps. How they're doing? Look at that. Oh. Yeah. Wow. You see the aluminum foil? Keeps them nice and juicy. You see how it's boiling the juice? It's cooking beautifully. They are done. That's it. These ones are coming out too. The scallops are coming out. Scallops are ready. Scallops and the fish is ready. Okay. okay. Wow. It's almost time to start eating. Yeah. Oh my gosh, that's an incredible amount of food. There Thank, you have it. Thanks for making all of this. You see how they're wow. cooking nicely and juicy? Yeah. Oh, they look so juicy. Beautiful. Beautiful. Beautifully and the done. The fish is ready and that I just put it in. So it has to wait a little long. You know? Grab the edge, the los bordes. <laughs> okay. Now we're going to put the potatoes, again, the potatoes didn't have a chance to, to cook yet, because there is no room, it's a small uh, grill. Yeah. Yeah. But you're making the most of it, you've got four things going on. Yeah. And we can't forget the ribs. We can't forget the ribs. This is the last one to go in, because these ones are like pre-cooked, all you need to do is heat them up and have them, you know, take a little bit of a glaze, and that's done, okay? So now they're gonna go inside. And now some advice from okay. the grill master himself. We are getting to the end of the barbecue. Everything has come out except these uh, few things over here. And yeah. like uh, I like to give uh, good advice, um, suggesting that whenever you do a, a barbecue, put enough stuff on the grill, meat, fish, chicken, sausage, whatever it is that you like. So you have enough for the week. Mm -hmm. You do this on the weekend, it's the same amount of work to light up the barbecue for one steak than for 20 steaks. So mm -hmm. you put enough, you keep it in the refrigerator. So now it is time to dig in and I'm just going to start with a little bit of a sampling because there's just too much meat on the table. Yeah. Um, and also we haven't mentioned the salad. My mom made a watermelon salad with feta cheese, black olives and mint leaves and it is so refreshing on a hot day like today. Like this is it's the perfect the summer salad. Perfect for the occasion. So yeah, we've got that. I have some shrimp, I have a lamb chop, scallops and plantain. Um, let's start with the scallops. Dig in. I really like my scallops. Mm. Very tender, juicy, lots of garlic. <laughs> Everything has garlic today, basically. Yeah. We went, we went uh, mm -hmm. all out on the garlic. Mm -hmm. I don't even know how many heads of garlic <laughs> it took to make that happen, but it must have been a lot. Yeah. I'm also trying the lamb chop. This has rosemary and garlic. Mm. It's good. Very good as well. Very tasty. Sometimes we cook this with Greek yogurt, yeah. but we didn't put that in today. But it's nice both ways. And the shrimpy. The skin off here. And here we go. How's that? Delicious. Delicious. Very good. Your turn. You're going to show us the rest of the meat that I haven't sampled yet. Okay, Sam. 
All right, time to dig in, check out the spread. I've just grabbed a little bit of everything. We've got the chorizo over here. We've got the ribs, we've got the steak, we've got a little bit of lamb, scallops. I mean, and there's refreshing salad. That's the thing I'm gonna try the first. Okay. Oh, that watermelon. I could just eat that all day long. It's so refreshing. It's so nice to have it with the saltiness of the feta. Mm-hmm. I have a really nice combination. Yeah. Okay, moving on to the chorizo. This is a favorite. It's yeah. nice and juicy. So that one is the spicy mm. Italian sausage. Oh, yeah. You really, you really taste the spiciness as you start chewing on it. Yeah. Okay, moving on to What else ribs. do you have on there? Ribs. Ooh, I didn't even notice the ribs on the oh, table. Those are so tender. Those are barbecued pork ribs. Those are really good. All right, the star of the show. Steak. The steak. Check that out. Wow, look how thick that is. And the dog's a lucky guy. He's going to be getting all the bones and little pieces of fat at oh the gosh, end. Oh my gosh, that's so juicy. So tender. I love it. Moving on to the scallops. The scallops are really good. It's so nice to have a combination of, you know, meat, seafood. Yeah, surf and turf. It's the ultimate surf and turf. Mm. Oh, I love scallops. So juicy. Mm -hmm. Now, you've already tried the shrimp, so I won't have that. But I yeah. will try the plantain. plantain. We still have chicken. We have salmon. There's just so much. I know, we haven't even tried it all. We're going to sample just a wee bit of everything. Oh. That's nice. You could almost have that as a dessert. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, we have dessert. Don't you worry. Real dessert. Yes. Oh, nice. Chocolate. Those lollipops <laughs> we got yesterday are so good. Nice. Well, that concludes the barbecue. So big thanks to my dad, the grill master, who yeah, took he, care of everything. Yeah, he, he did an amazing job. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Everything came out good. It was yeah. tasty. Everything was right on uh, the way it should be. Nice mm -hmm. and uh, juicy and mm -hmm. good. And uh, yeah, we spent a beautiful Saturday uh, afternoon, mm -hmm. extremely hot <laughs> yes. here in Toronto. Well, one of the hottest days of the year. One really. of the hottest day of the year. How Forty many? One. Forty-one. Forty-one with, with the humidex. Forty-one Celsius Whoa. with the humidex. Yeah. yeah. So for all of those that uh, believe that in Canada we suck ice cubes all year <laughs> long, you're wrong, okay? It's warm in this country It gets too. pretty hot in the summer. Yeah, we have does. the We have the world's worst winters, but it, we also have some yeah. pretty warm summers. So we can appreciate the summer when it comes because of the cold that we have in the winter. Yeah. yeah. And yeah, we had a beautiful time. We killed about, what, two or three bottles of wine? Yeah. And uh, we had a <laughs> lot of food. There is a lot of leftovers. So mm -hmm. that's why I tell you all the time, cook enough when you barbecue so you have leftover for the week. <laughs> All right, that's All awesome, right, guys. See you next barbecue, guys. We'll see you and we'll say goodbye with the dog. How you doing, Togi? How you doing? Togo is suffering in the heat.